Hey guys! So, tomorrow I'm going to Cebu with some of my family and we're gonna go to the beach. I haven't been to the beach in like at least five years. I mean, as you can tell, pale as paper. So then I figured that a fun project that I can do would be to make some stop motion videos of my vacation. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys some ideas, some techniques on how you can make your own stop motion vacation poses for the ground. Let's do it. So our first stop motion idea is to pack up some things in a bag. And since I'm going to the beach, I gathered around a few obvious items like a swimsuit and sunglasses, but I also included some fun things like this plastic pineapple and the starfish magnet. For fiddly parts like straps and poles, you can hold them in place or with a clip. And I really just winged it while animating and went with what I felt might work. And I made some items like the clothes crawl into the bag and then other things like the lip balm rolled into the bag. So feel free to play around with the movement because the great thing about this is that since there's so many props, there's no way anyone's gonna notice any mistakes. So the next idea is to animate your destination using any type of letters. And for this, I just use Scrabble letters that spell out off to Cebu. But you can use letterboard letters, lightbox letters, or you can even cut up your own paper letters. And just like the first idea, you also need to pre-plan the flow of your animation so you can figure out the best way to film it. And here I filmed everything backwards, starting with all my props laid out and then moving out of the scene so that when the video is played in reverse, it'll look like they're all entering into the scene. So if you're going to be using a DSLR or a mirrorless camera to film your stop motion, be sure that you're on manual mode and make sure to set all the settings like your exposure, your focus, your ISO, your white balance, and your shutter speed. And this is something that I realized after filming the first two stop motion videos and that's why I had to go in Premiere Pro and manually color grade all the individual frames of my animation. You might as well make it easier on yourself by making sure that you have the correct camera settings before you start filming. Also, I had to mask out the paper background that rolls in in the beginning of the animation so that I can adjust the white balance of the light wood background. Now, this third idea is a bit more complicated and it needs preparation, but print and cut out this unicorn animation that you can get for free from my website, which is linked down below, but you can also use any animation you want or you can even make your own. Just be sure to add the very visible crosshair on the same area across all the frames. Then, using a stop motion app, Hold up each animation frame against the window, starting with frame 1, and try to line up the crosshairs on all the frames. Also, make sure that the character is facing the right direction to where they're going. Now this makes for a really cool and unique final output, but it does require some patience and practice. So I did this unicorn animation during a one hour flight, and the turbulence kept moving my tripod around and I just couldn't keep my hand steady. So it took me about 5 retakes and we were literally landing before I finally got this. Yes. Oh so another cool effect is to shoot yourself traveling through places. And the idea here is really simple to do, but it's insanely time consuming. So all you have to do is take a step forward, like about five inches forward, take a picture, take another step forward, take a picture, and so on, until you make it all the way across your screen. And the key here is to keep your steps really, really small. And also, try to find a location where there's not gonna be a lot of people walking in between you and your camera because that's what happened here and it's, it was just, it's bad. It's, I just ended up embarrassing myself in public. 
and yes you are going to look like an idiot and people are gonna stare at you but you're on vacation so what the heck you'll never see them anyway plus the end result will be so worth it especially when you shoot yourself traveling through more than one location Similar to the previous idea, find a location with lots of little spots that you can sit or stand on and then just pose in each one of them. And you can just film a video of yourself running around between these spots like what I did with these lounge chairs and then just extract the images that you want to use from your video using a video editing program like Premiere Pro. And the last idea is to just have fun with props and accessories. In this example, I spun my hat around my head, taking a picture with each spin to make this fun looping gif. But you can do the same effect with any other little things that you can play around with. Oh and by the way, for the last two animated videos, I imported the photos to my phone and color graded them with the Snapseed app. And then I added these really nice glitter overlays with a color story. If you'd like to learn more tips about how to film stop motion videos using your phone, I have a separate video all about that and all the apps that I use right here so you can just check that out. And let me know in the comments how you're going to be using any of these ideas for your own Instagram content. And while you're at it, you might as well follow me at Jacka Martinez Art for more creative content. In my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to make Procreate style time lapse videos even if you use Photoshop to draw. Thank you so much for your time, create your own adventures, and I'll see you in the next video.